it's Susie from Hey Grill A, and today I'm giving you my version of a chimichurri sauce. You know it's amazing on steak, but I'm gonna give you two other dishes that work amazing with chimichurri so you can level up both your backyard cooking and anything else you wanna make at home. It's so delicious. I like to make this in a food processor because it helps me really chop up the herbs exactly the way that I want. I use a mix of parsley and oregano, four cloves of garlic, and just pulse until you really get the consistency you're going for. A good healthy amount of olive oil, red wine vinegar, and then we season with coarse salt, black pepper, and red pepper flakes for a little bit of heat. Continue pulsing until it all comes together, and in just a couple of minutes, your chimichurri is done and ready to go. We're gonna transfer that to a separate bowl and start on the potatoes. So I'm gonna slice my red potatoes thin and then season my steak. I'm using a flat iron steak, but you can also use skirt or flank. Both are delicious. I've got a cast iron skillet with some beef tallow preheating over my coals. I'm gonna add my steak and my potatoes to the grill. Season my potatoes with beef rub as well. Everything's getting beef rub today. We're gonna let those cook for a couple of minutes. Start cooking down the potatoes. Start building some crispy, crunchy edges and just keep things rolling. We gotta flip the steak. Uh, this was probably about seven minutes on one side, and then I'm gonna start cooking my eggs. I add a healthy dose of chimichurri to a preheated small skillet. A Couple of eggs, a little bit more of beef rub. Those eggs are gonna cook in that oily, herby chimichurri, as well as the potatoes. A couple of healthy doses of the chimichurri to the potatoes. The potatoes are nice and tender. The eggs are cooked through, but the yolks are still soft, and that steak is finished as well. I am so thrilled with how this beautiful platter of deliciousness turned out. Now we know chimichurri on steak is a classic, right? It's an Argentinian staple sauce, so it is meant to go with beef. Rich, fatty beef, this tangy, herbaceous, garlicky sauce, it's a match made in heaven. But I'm telling you, when you put it on potatoes, when you put it on eggs, something magical happens. Chimichurri is meant for more than just beef. Oh, so freaking good. It's like the best steak you've ever had. And then you just like took it up to like level 110. It's unbelievable. Pair that with some crispy potatoes cooked in beef fat. And they taste different because the chimichurri is cooked on the potatoes, but they're supposed to go together. You know what I'm saying? And finally, these drippy eggs cooked in that chimichurri in the cast iron skillet specifically. So we get these crispy edges of that fried olive oil and the fried edges of the egg, but they're still ooey gooey in the middle. We got, we need a close up. We need a close up of this egg break happening. Ooh. Do you know growing up that I actually hated runny eggs? That might be the winner. That might be the winner. That might beat steak. An egg with chimichurri. Might beat steak with chimichurri. Those edges. Lights out. Unbelievable. Hmm. Hopefully we triggered a little bit of inspiration for you to try chimichurri at home. Try it on more than just steak. Let me know what you're gonna try chimichurri on in the comments section below. Maybe we can help share some ideas and spark some new creativity for one of my favorite backyard barbecue sauces. We'll see you next time. That's ridiculous.